back to News Geelong. We are continually developing projects and programs to help reduce water usage in our region. We're here at Grinter Reserve in Whittington with the launch of the $860,000 wetlands and stormwater harvesting project and it's funded by local, state and federal government. The project's inception kicked off when, when the drought hit or the worst of the drought and Bowen Water's uh, water restrictions. Um, uh, we had about 50 sporting ovals in Geelong um, be closed for unsafe conditions in that summer. So this was a reaction to that I suppose and um, we, we started looking at areas of Geelong and where we could uh, replace the potable drinking water with a recyclable source. Um, here at Grinter we found a 200 hectare catchment of Whittington. Um, that water was flowing out to Corio Bay. That water is now flowing through to this uh, this wetland treatment system. It holds around um, 7 million litres of water. It's, um, it's treated via a, a gross pollutant trap, a sediment pond um, and then marshland. Uh, and then it flows into a, a larger water body. Now the water is being used for irrigating the, the sporting field of, of Grinter Oval number one um, and potentially Grinter Oval number two and three. Uh, the BMX club are using it to to form up their tracks and wet down their tracks prior to events and the pony club and the the Geelong East men's shed have got plans to use it for for their purposes. Um, we're also tapping into the the backwash water which was going to sewer out of splashdown. It was around four million litres of water a year going out to out to sewer. That's now being treated via a sand filter um, and then through the the treatment train that I mentioned before so it's um, it can supply around 30 million litres of water a year and uh, and yeah we're, we're quite proud of it that we've it's reached this stage and it's now completed and and in use. One of the great things about this mural is that there is a, a sense I think that after the 10 years of drought as a community when you look at this project we really have learnt something you know we're now putting in place the infrastructure which is going to get us through the next dry patch and so whilst it might be <laughs> whilst it might be uh, uh, raining at the moment um, and so thankfully the, uh, the the ponds are full. Um, this is exactly the kind of infrastructure that we need for the future when we do have another dry patch and, and what it's going to do is drought proof Grinter Reserve, uh, the Pony Club, the BMX Club within the vicinity. Uh, that's going to be great for them as I say when dry patches come. Um, and I really like uh, the interpretive sign we've got in the background because I think that kind of community education about the way in which pieces of infrastructure like this work is really important to helping the community understand what we're doing. The beauty of this project is uh, three tiers of government working together. Um, the city put in 530k, uh, the federal government put 280, the state government put in 50 and we come up with this uh, magnificent um, what would you say? I suppose it's not only just uh, stormwater harvesting, but it's, it also uh, uses the water from the backwash facility at the gym. Uh, we've got seven million litres of water in it at the moment. Starts in one pond, ends up in, in a pond uh, over the back there, which we can get out, uh, get the water out, so we can just irrigate everything around here. We've, uh, we've actually uh, stopped the drought here. Here from Grinter Reserve in Whittington, Merrill Friend, News Geelong. Thank you, Merrill. The Geelong Greyhound Racing Club continues its redevelopment state-of-the-art racing and entertainment facility in readiness for grand opening night on April 15. Yeah, we're uh, extremely excited by the uh, the way in which everything's coming together. Um, it's like any project, you get to the last uh, couple of weeks and it it uh, feels like a bottle of water to the top, so everything's uh, going exceptionally well at the moment. And for a lot of us around Geelong, when we've driven past this uh, in the past, it's just been a bare paddock, but to see it today, it's just a magnificent refurbishment and updating. Yeah, absolutely. We're talking uh, an $8.2 million project that uh, will be state-of-the-art uh, once complete. Uh, twin tracks, which is um, a, a world first. Um, it was done at Bulleye some time ago, but that was when uh, there were two one-turn tracks um, on grass. And, uh, yeah, everything's um, in motion for a really happy uh, and exciting opening night. For our viewers, you say twin tracks. How long? Uh, the inside track uh, is around about 450 metres. Um, you've got two starts there over 580 metres and 520 metres. Um, and then the outside track 
um, is a much bigger track. Uh, it's got a start over 680 um, and then two starts which will just be one turn at 460 and 400 metres. And uh, at this off, obviously at the side of the track, this magnificent new facility uh, for all patrons that will be coming out to watch an exciting opening night on April the 15th. Yeah, April 15th is the, uh, the big opening night. We've got um, two lead-up events, one picnic event um, on the 29th um, and then a TAB event on, a, on the 3rd of April. Uh, then we'll give the track a couple of weeks to, to rest and, and, and do all the hard work to it um, for a big opening night on the 15th of April. Uh, where we want uh, the whole of the, the uh, local area and this side of Melbourne to, to get involved and come out and have a look at it. Um, there'll be all sorts of activities there, but the racing's the main, um, main feature. On St Patrick's Day, millions of people don green and celebrate the Irish with good cheer and perhaps a pint of green beer as Meryl Friend reports. We're here at Irish Murphy's to celebrate St Patrick's Day, top of the morning to you, or evening as it may be. And we're here with uh, uh, an Irishman from Belfast and all his uh, family and grandchildren ready to enjoy the celebrations. It means great, a great time having, uh, getting the family all here. That's all my family, my grandkids, getting them here on St Patrick's Day and celebrating, having the breakfast and kicking on. As soon as they go to school, we'll kick on from there. <laughs> and what does kicking on mean in Irish terms? Uh, well, they have a few bevies, <laughs> a few Guinness, and well, they will, I won't, because I'm an Irish man that doesn't drink. Oh, that's I'm, odd. I'm a tea drinker. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, you're having a traditional Irish breakfast this morning. What yeah, does yeah. that include? Well, we had bacon, bacon eggs, uh, sausage, black pudding, the, we're missing the potato bread and the soda bread, so uh, my wife usually cooks the potato bread and soda bread. So Now what is a black pudding? Black pudding is, uh, what is it? What could you say it is? <laughs> it's, uh, Do we want to know? No, you don't, because you put people off. <laughs> we'll keep it a secret Yeah, then. keep it a secret. Then. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't like to, uh, okay. There's black pudding and white pudding, but... There we go. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you and enjoy the celebrations. No problem. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a big day. It's a huge day. Um, 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, we're, we're here. Staff, I'll still be here probably be around about 1 o'clock tomorrow morning cleaning up. <laughs> it's a massive day. All right. Now, there's lots of tradition steeped in uh, St Patrick's Day. What do you think it means to uh, we Aussies? To us Aussies, I think it, it means being Irish for the day. Even whether you've got Irish roots or not, it's being Irish for the day and just having fun and celebrating. Half the people that celebrate St Paddy's Day have no idea what it's all about, but they just love the celebration. From Irish Murphy's on St Patrick's Day, Meryl Friend for News Geelong. Everybody, one, two, three. Happy St Patrick's Day! Thank you, Meryl. And by the way, did you know that the real St Patrick was not even Irish? He was born in Britain around 390 AD to an aristocratic Christian family. This is News Geelong as we go to a break and return with our sports and weather reports after this.